In this tutorial in Microsoft Word, we're going to show you how to work with page numbers. In most multiple page documents, you want to know which page belongs where, especially if they're not attached. So let's show you how to do that. I need to be on the Insert tab, so if you're not there, click above the ribbon, the Insert tab, and then click on Page Number. We can put a, a page number at the top, the bottom, in the margin, or at the current position. Now let's pick the bottom of a page, and we'll just click on Play Number 1 and see what we have here. And all it did was insert the number. But if I scroll down to the second page, I will see that it properly said, now this is page number 2. That's a very simple way to do it. I'm going to undo that action. We'll click on Insert again. Move back to page number. Choose bottom of page again. And now we'll try another one. Here's an accent bar where it's on the right side. I'll click on that. And you have the number plus a lighter font with a bar to the right called uh, entitled Page. All right, so that's another way. Let me show you a couple more options we have. We will click on Insert, Page Number again. We'll stay at the bottom for now. And then we'll sc scroll down our options. One option we have is X of Y. In the X of Y category, it tells you how many pages in the in the uh, document and let's click on this just to see I'll put this one in the middle so this is page one of two and then on the second page it's page two of two now you can go in and you can uh, you can actually edit down there you could say uh, in our master document and you can change the fonts or anything else you want to. I'll take this here. Oh, I'll take this text here. If I can click it, I think I'll have to use my... There. Take this here, turn the bold off, and then now I've saved it. So now if I want to go down to the second page, it's page two of two in our master document. So once you have the insert that will track the page numbers, you can go ahead and edit them. Let me show you a couple other options that you can do here. We're going to close that out and try again. We'll click back on the Insert tab and go to Page Number. Keep it at the bottom for now. And if you want to get real fancy, you have some options way in the bottom that are graphics. Let me show you one. Here's a rounded rectangle on the left. I will uh, undo that. And then we'll, we'll insert a different one. We'll go insert page number, bottom of page. You can actually do one that's a uh, number in a blue circle. Well, you can do a square box on the right. You can actually do one that's a triangle, colored triangle, on the left side of the page. And so there's all kinds of options you have for page numbers, top, bottom. Just remember you can go insert page number or if you're in the design mode, I'm going to unclick that, and you're in the, in the design mode, you can click over here in the third item for page number and you have the same option. Top page, bottom of page. Uh, let's try one at the top and for fun we'll scroll down a little bit to another, one of the other graphics and we'll pick the one that goes sideways. And there's one uh, with page number one and there's page number two. So that gives me several different options I can use to insert my page numbers in Microsoft Word. As you've just seen, Word does a great job of empowering you to add page numbers to your documents. And the nifty feature of this tool is that as you add text to your documents and therefore add pages, the numbers update automatically. We hope you found this lesson to be useful, and if you have here at the Sharper Turtle, we'd like to ask you to like us, make any comments you wish, and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay up with new lessons we'll be rolling out to help you. Thank you.